Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. For the moment anyway, we might as well carry on with the old Sherpa. And you can see my little top of goodies here. Bloody fireworks. Just get the crap out of me wondering what the hell that was. Let's cut to an intro and I'll show you what I've got. So, bit of a result. Um, I'll show you this in a moment, but whilst I was looking for this box, it turned out my old SEX 10 that I had a couple of years back, I must have stripped it of some of the parts that I put on it, review probably to put them on another um, truck that I was probably going to get at the time and never did. Uh, a couple of years later, this bad boy comes along, uh, the Obsema Sherpa. Check out my previous videos if you want to see a bit more about this. I was looking for this, which I'll show you in a sec, and I found a whole host of accessories in the box. I had an ooh, what is that moment? And um, this is what it is. So I figured I would show you, and then I'll show you this. So we found a net to go on the roof. How cool is that? We found, I say we, I, I found a load of um, de-shackle, I don't know what you want to call them, sort of mounts uh, that will go on the front. So these crappy kind of plastic items which have since snapped off, these are going to get cut off and then we're going to put new ones on that are actually steel or cast alley, whatever they are, nonetheless will, will actually be functional rather than these crappy plastic things. So we've got them. I found a crate of Coca-Cola bottles. 110 scale. Sweet. Tow chains. And tow chains that will actually tow, not like the uh, early iterations of these that I got, um, that were made of like a crappy cheap jewelry chain. And I seem to recall hooking up my axle at the time to another truck and it just snapped the chain. So I'm not entirely sure how much better these will be, but at least I've got two of them so we can double up. Um, failing that, I might get a winch cable, but they're quite long. They're about, yeah, I don't know, they're all tangled up. I don't know, they're about two foot. We have a ground anchor. Um, I'm not sure what one that is. It looks like it could be a fast tracks one. So forgive me on the brands, I bought this so long ago, I can't actually remember. But one clue, and a company that stayed with me the whole time, in thoughts obviously, um, Overland RC. I seem to recall getting most of this stuff from them back then, a few, a few years ago. So you might see this company start to pop up again on the channel. Um, found some original Axial, I think these are Axial, well, these might have been fast tracks, tools, um, random ones. Don't know where the shovel and a couple of the other bits went. Got the Axial SDX 10 2 accessories ammo cans. Pretty cool. We have got a fire extinguisher on a holder. Now that's good because that means I can get rid of this crappy candy red molded in jobby. Now what's interesting here is on the back of this, it acts as a mount for the rear light. Um, so we may be able to do something with this. This has got a nut and bolt to it. So we'll work it out. We'll, we'll make this work. That can go on the back or go on the inside because we're going to do a full interior on this. A, a bucket. Um, I don't think I'm going to use the bucket. I have no idea how I even come by having that Come on. Um, a spare wheel <laughs> just a rim whatever and then the PS the resistance Ta -da! I kept the winch bumper complete with lights I must have mounted the shackles on it and winch now this unfortunately is a crappy Chinese made winch um, of which I've got the uh, got everything so it probably won't work of which I've got the little remote control and the control box. I seem to recall it not being particularly fantastic at the time, but it never got used in anger, so I, I'm not really sure. But 
I have to say, it's gonna look flipping fantastic on the front of this. I'm tempted to put this bumper on. Looks a bit crazy on the, on the camera angle, but it, it'll fit, it'll fit. And I think it will look bloody good. Yeah. So this could find its way on the front of here. And this is pretty bloody heavy. This is all, all metal. Ooh, put that down carefully. Yeah, check that out. It's an all metal bumper. You can see the, the wiring for the lights in there. I, I may have put this in actually. I think this must have come as part of this, um, this wiring kit here. So we can add even more lights onto the Sherpa. How cool would that be? I'm, I'm kind of thinking about a beacon as well. I've been watching a YouTube channel um, where they're actually driving Jeep Rubicons, I don't know, somewhere in the States. I know it's a few of the guys have got beacons on the back. So perhaps we could, uh, perhaps we could have a beacon on this. Let me know what you think in the comments, if I get any comments. <laughs> so how cool is that? It got re-roped. I remember re-roping it at the time because it came with string, basically. Um, so I basically just put better string on it. Again, that was from Overland RC back in the day. Uh, so yeah, nice little worn, what was that, the 9.5 lookalike winch. So that is pretty sweet. I was pretty stoked to find all this. So the Sherpa is finally going to get accessorised with some purpose. Um, and some just for show. Ah, that reminds me. Um, so on the, um, the Kent scale crawler page we were talking about about weight and about how how this unfortunately has a tendency when it gets to a point it just wants to tip up so what we're going to do we're going to weight the wheels for sure we're going to do the traditional um self adhesive i think these are the five gram weights you just get them in strips so we're going to weight the wheels i'm i may change the tires well not may i pretty much certainly will change the tires so we get a bit of wheel and tire set on here, weighted. Um, and one of the guys, I'm uh, pretty sure it was RC Volts. I'll put his I'll put his name properly down here. Check out his his channel. Um, I think I've it might be in my favourites, um, but I'll put a link in below anyway. Check his channel out, and he suggested putting uh, hair scrunchies for a certain size wheel. So we'll have a look at that, and I think we may do that on the uh, on the Sherpa Sherpa. So yeah, okay, sweet. Right, let me clear this crap away, and then we'll talk about this. Check that out. Now, I'd actually forgotten how cool this was. I remember getting it at the time, started to put it together, struggled to get um, longer rear links on the SCX-102, and put it back in the box, chucked it up in the loft, obviously with those accessories I showed you earlier, I forgot about it. Until literally today, the day you're filming, which I think is the 30th. So this is a JGRC Hobbies Land Rover Defender, hard body, um, in a 110 as well, which is uber cool. Now, this is kind of like an unboxing in a way, because as much as I did have a very brief look earlier, I didn't look over it properly. So, pull this out Ooh. just before we get into the contents it's worth noting you can do it as a pickup version which might be good for a spectre style or you can do it as the normal four-door kind of station wagon 110 um and i really like the idea of doing a snatch land rover i don't know what chassis to do it on though so perhaps you guys can help with that a super cool sticker sheet covering all your Land Rover Defender needs. Um, yeah, sweet. And then the goodies. And now I'm not going to go through all of these parts. Perhaps we'll do a full build, even though if it's just do the body shell, and then we'll find a, a body to put it on. You got things like you've got a pin. So so all the doors. And I'll show you. Actually, you know what? I'll stop waffling. I'll just show you. Ah, the lighting kit instructions. Yes. We've got uh, yellows, reds, whites. Ah, oh, yeah. This is going to be wicked. I think I, I, I must have bought the lighting kit for this, actually. 
um, all the windows. You've got two different sets of windows, depending on whether you have it as the pickup or the station wagon. Very cool. The bag that was full of the goodies earlier, the Domino's bag, of course. Wouldn't have it any other way. And just tons and tons of sprues of parts. cannot emphasize enough how awesome this kit is nor how heavy i mean it weighs some i reckon the whole thing probably weighs about 1.2 maybe 1.3 kilos built i mean these seats these seats are solid rubber how cool are they a full a full depth interior and um, full dashboard there's none of this pro line lexan molded crap this is full high detail Hopefully the camera's picking that up for you guys. I mean, it's good, you know, it, it's very good. It's late model as well. You can obviously tell by the, the interior. Oh, look at the flipping rear bench for Christ's sake. Look at that. Like a full depth interior in a 110 crawler. How wicked is this going to be? Oh, I must've put the, the seat slider on this one. I mean, come on, I mean, this is amazing. I, I'm so glad I didn't sell this. I'm sure I was at the point of selling it. Yeah, whatever, right. But, the, the shell. So this was in kit form. Um, I think it came with a, a rough kind of chassis, but the, the bonnet or the hood, depending on where you're from, that's magnetized, or it will be, I should say. I have magnets here. So that's a magnetised unit. All four doors. Let me get this crap out of the way. Hang on, bear with me. I mean, look, I've got pedals. I've got three pedals there. I've got sticks and gear sticks and stuff. And check. Oh, I've got stuff in the boot. I mean, I mean, look at the grill. I, I just love this stuff. I don't know if you go. I mean, I love watching um, RC Sparks and watching his builds. And this is, this is right up my street. I mean, look at that, look at that grill. It's even in two parts, you know what I mean? That is just immense. This is gonna be good. This is gonna be good. We've got to think it's ain't cool to do this. So, sorry, where was I? Yes. So, all the doors, all open. They're on like a, I don't know what you'd call that that type of hinge but they will magnetize and and like the panel lines are so good when that's closed I mean I haven't done any adjusting on that and they're not you know they're not all kind of squirrely and here there and everywhere it's solid um, nice solid mounts it all screws together as well from memory I don't think any of this glues in any way including the windows I mean in the door if you can make that out on camera and like I say I will do a proper video on this but the windows actually sit in a channel. Um, on the rear, if I can get you to the rear, we've got we've got a proper wheel carrier. You've got a recessed handle, so it's not surface mount. That's inside. That's I think two or three components to, to make this. Uh, the external hinges, um, the areas for lighting are basically pre-drilled and they're ready to accept LEDs behind. If I can get this open. I mean, just how lovely is that? Oh, text message. There we go. I mean, how awesome is that? And on the, exactly the same again, you know, it has magnetized catch. Um, the full flatbed interior in the back, because this back section can lift off. Um, I probably, yeah, I've screwed it on. Okay, well, I can't take it off right now. So our choice is, I think I either do this, or in fact, you, you, you decide. Let's see, I mean, what have I got? Five subscribers, so I can't say subscribers, five subscribers. So you five or, or any new subscribers that come along, you tell me, do you think this should stay as a, a station wagon? We'll do it this way. We'll do something cool with it. Um, we, we have real arches. So perhaps we'll do, 
um, we might base it on a real vehicle or perhaps like one of those calm Land Rovers or something like that. You, you let me know or we take this off and we have it as the pickup version with the, the crew cab. I think that'll look cool and we could do it like a, like a Spectre style. But yeah. Just, it's, just, it's just so cool. I mean, these are like parts you would actually buy. You know, and they, they've made these as components. I mean, even the light buckets. Look at the bloody the light buckets. How sweet is that? You've got areas areas for the indicators to go in there. I don't know what one I've got here. Is this going to fit? Probably not. No. This one. Yeah. Look at that. Wow. It's got all the proper little clips on the back. If you can make that out. Got the little retainers for the LEDs. I mean, this is properly, properly good. So I think we're, we'll enjoy making this one. So there we go. Maybe we have the first channel project build. Now, what I don't know what to do is what chassis to put it on that is going to facilitate such a deep interior. Now, that interior is not going to leave a lot of room underneath. Um, Can I get it just to sit on? Yeah. Whee! I mean, look. So, we're gonna have to be quite smart about what chassis we use for this. I don't mind if it needs some modifying, that's absolutely fine. Um, I had intended to use it for the STX, ST, SCX 10-2 um, at the time. Um, definitely don't want it to be portal axle. It's got to be just a straight axle. Um, and the more scowl, the better, I reckon. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. Feel free to leave some comments, give me some feedback. Cheers, see you next time.